Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode in the 2022 Bike Build series with the Trails Bike, AKA Victoria's Not Sitting Right There bike. So I actually rode this bike today for the first time. I don't know if that video will be out or not yet, but there's a couple things I noticed. First and foremost, handlebars weren't in the right place. I couldn't tell what was wrong. I felt like the grips were way too uh, skinny, so I had to hold my hands wider, but actually it was the grips or the bars were too far back, making the angles weird. The grips aren't too, too skinny, but I put my hands against the flanges. And this isn't a problem we're going to solve today, but I need to get different grips for this thing. They probably got to be blue. <laughs> or black. Or I have black. We could swap them out to black. Not but we'll see. They're not they those. They're squishy. They're squishy. They gotta, there's requirements. They've got to be as soft as the Edwins and they gotta be blue or black. I do have black, but so I moved the bars forward already when we were taking a bike or ri bike ride earlier. But then another thing I noticed is that this wheel that's like pretty old, it has a little bit of a wobble in it. And I noticed how front heavy the bike is because I think that this wheel is like extremely heavy compared to the front of my other bike setup. So, I have a different front wheel we're gonna be throwing on here until my art project is finished. The art project is in progress. It's right over there. We already did most of it, but I can't finish it yet. I don't have the stuff to finish it yet. So we're gonna swap out that front wheel. We're also gonna swap out this wheel as well. The Free Knight, the OG Free Knight hub may be getting retired, I don't know yet. But first step, we need to find out if uh, these wheels, or this wheel weight doesn't matter, but I want to find out if the front wheel I have is actually lighter than this one. The front wheel I do have doesn't wobble either, so I'm going to put it on there anyways. But I want to see if there's a difference in weight. So I'm going to take both wheels off, and we'll go from there. Okay, back wheel. Another thing we're going to be doing in this video is painting or touching up the frame because found out from her fingernails <laughs> okay. that Dollar General sells the exact color of paint and we tested it. It's literally so perfect. It's like crazy. So the end of this video will be touching up this frame and literally trying to make it look new. I can't even express how irrationally difficult that just was. That's the word for it. Next time you need me to loosen up for you. I guess. <laughs> All right. So, rear wheel, we'll do rear wheels, I guess. Rear wheel number one weighs Two pounds, seven ounces. Let's give it another go. Yeah, two pounds, six ounces, two pounds, seven ounces. Other one, oh, this one doesn't have hardware. It's actually a little bit heavier, so that's gonna be nice because it's gonna balance the weight on the bike better because it doesn't have the axle nuts on it yet either, or washers. So, set that aside. Now, this is where I'm curious. Is there a difference? Two pounds, three ounces. Wow, a rear hub is light, almost as light. Two pounds, three ounces. All right, now let's try this other one. Okay, it's almost exactly the same. That's not okay. So it's actually not that heavy, but this one is newer and spins better. This one had a little bit of a wobble, so I'm still going to swap it out. Yes. Ugh. I don't know if you noticed there in the time lapse or not, but I put on a different tire. It's a matching tire to the front on there. So let's just do this. Okay. Next. 
next axle hardware can come off of here temporarily luckily they're the exact same rim so my brake spacing is exactly the same and doesn't need adjusted and as long as this wheel is on dish i should be solid Okay, we're to the point now where the wheels are back on, everything's good. This back end is a tiny bit heavier now. It's got a non-folding tire on here. It's the current V1 tire. They don't even make it anymore. So it's a little bit heavier now. Hopefully it balances everything out. So now we need to clean the bike so that we can touch it up. And I'll show you in depth and close that and then we'll time lapse through the whole thing and show you it when it's done. And we are back with a clean bike. And I'm gonna demonstrate right now how insanely good this stuff is and show you all of the problem areas so that once we time lapse through actually touching this thing up, we'll be able to go back through all of them and show you how amazing it actually does. So this stuff is Maybelline New York Fast Gel and it's the color Turquoise Tease. You can get it at Dollar General, it's like $2. And this stuff is amazing. I mean, you can see it's literally like the exact color. And I'm gonna use this spot right here as an example as of how good it actually is. So I'm gonna take the, the nail polish here, and then we're just gonna do one of these paint in the spot where it needs to be over here a little bit and then what victoria is going to do is kind of blend the the nail polish outwards so that it's not just this blatant spot if i need more let me know you might need some more right there it's a tiny tiny bit hold on dab it there and you can see how well that just, it blends in super well. It's crazy. We may do multiple layers or whatever, but it is so good. The match of the color. It's incredible. I mean, you back up, you really can't tell unless you knew it was there. So... At this point, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this thing up and we're gonna time lapse through just doing all of it. Actually, I forgot. All the problem areas. So there's bad area there. Underneath has got some spots that are bad. Under the frame is super, super bad. It's dark, but you can kind of see how many different things are there. And there's actually a spot that I've already done and is dry, that's right here, you probably wouldn't even know. So we already did that. Uh, the top of the frame there. Spots on this side, underneath. This problem area here. I think that's probably about it. So at this point, let's time lapse through this and we'll come back when we're done. We're also gonna do the uh, the forks with some black because I feel like they need it pretty badly. So yeah, time lapse now. And here we are with the finished product. So we'll show the areas that we did. You can tell the texture isn't perfectly smooth in spots, but when it comes to the bad areas, like right there or underneath, it's a shadow. Like it looks awesome in the shade. I bet you in the camera, you couldn't even tell. But you turn it into the light and a little bit of that texture you can see, but it's not bad by any means. Kind of tell where some of it was done at. And maybe like 
another layer would help with that, but I am pretty content with the way it turned out. I think it's good. It's way better than where it started and the wheels are on here. So I'm going to try and ride this thing again tomorrow, probably at the trails. Oh yeah, the forks. Tried to do the forks and I hate the way it turned out. <laughs> this side doesn't look too much different, but it just didn't work. It wasn't the exact perfect color of nail polish the way this is. I mean, this is so perfect. You can't even really see unless you get right up close on it. And uh, yeah, turned out well. I'm stoked ready to ride some trails hopefully you're enjoying this series the art project hopefully will be coming very soon i hope i really really hope want to get that done because i'm stoked about it so hit the subscribe button if you haven't and i mean we'll see you tomorrow for another video and in the next bike build series video thanks for watching and goodbye